Hola gang, and welcome back to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. Went over and hit the frozen section of Walmart, and I pulled out a great value sausage and gravy breakfast bowl. Yeah! So they have a number of breakfast bowls from Great Value. Um, these are like the Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls, but not through the roof expensive like those things are. So this one is a, uh, let's see, what does it contain? Potatoes, country gravy, eggs, sausage crumbles, and cheese. And this is a seven ounce package. And how do we make this up? Uh, microwave instructions only. Remove from cart and puncture film. Microwave on high power for two minutes. Peel back the film and stir product. Replace the film and microwave on high for one minute until the internal temperature reaches 165 Fahrenheit. Okay, so roughly three minutes. Let me open up the package and see what's inside. All right, there is look in its frozen state. That is the size of the breakfast bowl. You can see all the ingredients inside there. So I see we shove it in the oven. See what comes out. See you in a sec. Well, three minutes is up. Certainly didn't seem like three minutes. Time flies when you're eating slugs or something. Okay. Take the film off. Eh. Come off, you beast. Okay, what do I see? I see a lot of, well, good amount of potato. I see a lot of egg. I see a good amount of chunks of sausage, fairly good size. And the gravy in there, preferably the star of the show. Um, Okay, it, it smells decent. Okay, doke. It didn't say to let it sit for any amount of time. It just said take it out after the, the extra minute. So that's what I did. We want to follow the directions exactly, precisely, uh, to see if they're legit. Okay, so trying to get some gravy on the fork. I wish there was more gravy. I mean, I always wish there was more gravy, no matter what I'm eating. Gravy is like the bomb diggiest. Okay, there we go. Give it a shot. Okay, make sure I get some egg and sausage in there. I got a little too much potato to taste everything else. So we'll subtract the potato, this sporkful, forkful, and uh, just do the egg and sausage. All right, um, I did pick this up, as I said, over at Walmart from the frozen section, and the damage on the great value sausage and gravy bowl, there goes the film, uh, was $2.43. So I think that's about probably a dollar or a little more cheaper than the Jimmy Dean ones. On the Nerdometer, I would give that puppy there. Um, I actually think I would give this a, a middle of the road, I like it. Yay! It's filled about the same as the Jimmy Dean Bowls, not completely to the top, which is kind of a bummer because you, you, you know, you pay for something and you get the size of a bowl and you want it filled to the top and it's not. So that kind of sucks. The potatoes are fairly firm a uh, decently, decent taste to them, decent flavor to them. Uh, the eggs are actually fluffy and they're not rubbery or anything. Uh, the sausage, decent sized chunks. There's not any heat to it. There's no little bite to the sausage. And, and I actually, as a heat wimp, I actually do like my sausage with a little teeny bite to it. That, that just sets it out 
from everything else. And then the gravy. Um, the gravy is virtually non-existent, unfortunately. I, you know, I, I like a lot of gravy in my stuff. And there's very, very little in here that you can even tell it exists. So it's more like an egg and sausage and potato breakfast bowl. And you're going, I don't know what this stuff is in here, but I hope it's edible. So yeah, more gravy, more gravy everywhere throughout the world. The world needs more gravy. It's not bland and it's not tasteless. It has got some pleasurable flavors going on there. So it's got that going for it. Now, if I seasoned this up a little bit, uh, added some salt and pepper, uh, dressed it up with maybe some sweet chili sauce or some Frank's Red Hot or something like that, that's going to make it even better. You can dress that up, make it even better than it is. Um, but it's decent. Uh, I think it'll fill you up if you have a smallish appetite, which I do. Um, I, I'd probably add like a biscuit to it or maybe a cinnamon roll or something else. But it's okay. And, and for the price, you're, you're kind of getting what you pay for. Fortunately, it's not like a lot of great value stuff and completely disgusting, although they have some good stuff, but a lot of stuff is really gross. Um, but, but yeah, this is okay. But of course, I want to know, gang, have you ever tried the great value sausage and gravy breakfast bowl? Um, if you have, or if you've tried any of the great value breakfast bowls, I want to know what it is. I want to know what you think. I want it right down there in the comments. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thank you so much for spending just a few minutes of your time with me. Uh, follow me on all my social networks and all those nerdy, groovy links that, that are going to really turn you on are down below in, in the description. If you do all that, you too can become a part of the coffee swilling. Pretend I have coffee with me right now. I haven't made it yet. Old nerd crony community. All right, you guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll talk to you again. Bye now.